Is is that the new gun you told me about? Yeah. You want to see it? Sure. You're so lucky living on the reservation. You can have your own gun now. Hi, Curly. Hello, Bob. Uh, why don't you go over and get a couple cans of pop, Eddie, while I get a loaf of bread. Okay. Hi, Verge. Hi, Eddie. About the other day. Did she kiss? Yeah, you're my friend, too. If it's okay, I can come over Saturday. I'll be through haying on Wednesday so I can help you herd on Thursday. Far out! It's nice to be out of that cold weather. Yeah. Hey, do you remember that day when we were little? You goofed around with the sheep? Yeah. Sure was fun. Thanks, she kiss. Hey, you better keep those stupid sheep off the road. You, Whitey! Whitey's are wrecking our land, tearing up our pastures just to get that coal he's hauling. But, Verge, we need that coal. Yeah, you do, but we don't. I've always enjoyed eating here. Yeah. This is good. What is it? Sheep intestine. It's still good. We're finished. You go first, Eddie. I want to see how you do it. Okay. <laughs> Fishing just isn't good as last summer, is it? Ah, face it, Verge. You're just not the fisherman you used to be. Can't catch him anymore. Dang you! <laughs> Verge, a pole! Don't worry, Verge. You can have my pole. Got another one. Hey, I know. When we ride again, let's ride up to Navajo Mountain. No. Why not? We can't. We just can't. I don't understand. Verge, 
You're not worried about our first day of school tomorrow, are you? Yeah, I hear it's not like elementary school. Me too. I hope the other guys don't smear lipstick all over us. I heard they do that. Or shut us in lockers. I'm really worried about something else, too. What's that? Our friendship. Why? I just think we might be in for it. Because... You're an Navajo and I'm white? Yeah. Verge, you can wear Levi's to school tomorrow. Yeah, they're okay. I guess I'll wear them too. I wish we had more in class together. Me too. Just better go. Yeah, let's eat lunch together, okay? Hey, Eddie, the guys are meeting for lunch. You want to come join us? Nah, I'm going to eat with Virgil. You mean you're going to eat with one of those navvies? That's not the way to get along around here. Health science. We had an assignment the first day. Hey, navvy, how can you stand eat that junk? <laughs> <laughs> Don't pay any attention to them, Virg. We'll be eating hot lunch tomorrow anyhow. <laughs> Don't eat Quaddy's food. Ah, let's just forget it. But he should be eating with his own people. Ah. Uh. One place in the metric system to another place, then, is made simply by moving the decimal point. Are there any further questions? No? OK, then do the assignment, all the exercises on page 306. What are you working on? Why won't that school teach you things that help you be a good Navajo? Like how to take better care of the sheep? Since you Navis won't touch eggs any other way, you can clean them off your locker. Thousands of owls fly over your teepee. Why did the notes say this about the owls? They're just making fun of our ancient beliefs. Huh? Yeah, an owl flying over our home means illness or bad luck. Let's have some fun. Hey, Whitey. When it gets a little cold, you whiteys just can't take it, can ya? <laughs> <laughs> whiteys are just sissies. <laughs> some of your dirt off? Doesn't look like it, he's still brown. <laughs> <laughs> the only time a navvy bathes. Why don't you leave him alone? Why don't you butt out? Come on, guys, leave him alone. Eddie, if you want to be our friend, stay away from that navvy. You better do what he says. You won't stand a chance of making a team without our help. Yeah, we'll make you look bad in tryouts if you don't. Come on, Eddie, be alert. Be alert. Hi, Eddie. Hi, Virgil. Hi. Uh -huh. Wanna go to the drive-in and get a comb before class? Eddie, do you wanna come? Oh, uh, he can come too. They don't want me alone, and I don't wanna go with them. If when I'm with Eddie, I have to go around with white girls. Maybe I better start hanging around with other Navajos. 
No, I can't. I have to talk to Mrs. Harris before class. Dad? I've been wondering about Virgil. What do you mean? Well, I don't know if I want to hang around with him anymore. Oh, really? Uh, I don't understand. Well, all the kids pick on me for going around with him. Pretty soon I won't have any more friends left. And, and the guys are doing things to make me look bad in basketball tryouts. Dad, I won't make the team if I see Virgil anymore. And I'm not going to. I know basketball's important to you, son, but you've been friends with Virgil for four or five years. Well, I think you better think about this one, son. Uh, sometimes we don't make very wise use of our resources. Yes, Virgil. The Navajo doesn't change the land. We use only, only what the land can give us over again. Uh, you mean what the land can replenish? Good, Virgil. Uh, you're excused. I think Nancy has some pretty dumb ideas, don't you? Yeah, like not stepping foot on Navajo Mountain, because it's supposed to be sacred. Want to come over this weekend sometime? We can go hunting. I, I can't. I have to do my homework. Besides, I have church on Sunday. Get down on purpose! Come on, Scott, come on, Scott, Scott! Come on top of him! Come on, Scott! Hey, you guys! What's going on there? Break it up! Oh, it's Mr. Hanson! Let's split! <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah. Self Incorporated was supported by a consortium of 35 educational agencies. This program was produced by Unit Productions of the Utah State Board of Education under the supervision of AIT, Agency for Instructional Television.